All right. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Online Mass TV again. Today, I'm here again and again. And uh, sorry for not being on board for some time now. It's as a result of uh, uh, the project I told you of. Uh, the thing has really occupied me uh, to the point that even to have a shave, I have not really have time to get my hair cut. Okay. But here I am again. To my subscribers, I want to say a very big thank you to you all for being there all the time, despite the little break uh, we had and we say we love you, okay? Be there all the time shows that you really love online mass TV, you love Jake's, okay? And that has really struck a chord in me, okay? And as I said today, I must uh, push out something. All right, so before us here, we have a question on the boys and exponential equation. All right, the question reads that we have five to the power of three all raised to the power of x minus 5 equal to 3 to the power of 5 raised to x minus 3. What there will be the possible value of x? Now, before we go into today's challenge, if you're new here, kindly subscribe. And when you subscribe, do well to turn on the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever we drop awesome video, wonderful video like the one you're about to watch right now. All right, so let's take our solution to this problem okay so we have here solution good now we put down the question which is a right, normal five all right to the power of three further raised to x minus five equal to your three to the power of five further raised to x minus three good now if you look at this question what we do here is easy we can rewrite this expression here. Yeah. But writing this expression will take us a longer time. So what we do here is to um, apply logarithm straight to this um, expression here now. Although, like I said in one of my videos, some mathematicians have argued that introducing logarithm at the first step of solving any mathematical challenge is not that ideal. Um, but to me, I see nothing wrong with it. So what we're going to do here is to apply logarithm to this. And here we're going to use ln base e. We could as well use log base 10. But here, yeah, let's use the ln base e. So here, we're going to have this to be your ln, okay, of your 5 out to the power of 3 to the power of x minus 5 equal to the ln of your 3 to the power of 5 out to the power of x minus 3. Okay. Now, with what we have here now, we can apply the law of logarithm to this because with this is the exponent. We are considering the whole of this as the exponent. We are equally considering the whole of this as the exponent. So according to the law of logarithm, we says that if you have um, log, if you have log k to the power of p as the exponent, move this exponent back. So this we turn gives us here p dot your log k. Okay, so if we apply this law here, we have to move this exponent back here. We call it move this exponent back here. And so this will give us here your 3 to the power of x minus 5. Let's put this in bracket. ln of 5 equal to your 5 r to the power of x minus 3. Let's put this in bracket also. ln of 3 straightforward now we look at this again now for what we have here now we want to divide so what we do here is let's divide by ln ln of five so we divide both sides by ln of five we equally divide this side by your ln of five because the law of equation says that whatever you do to the right hand side you must equally do to the left hand side okay so with this we are going to divide again from here, let's divide by 5 to the power of x minus 3. So we divide this side by 5 to the power of x minus your 3. Let's put this in bracket. We equally do the same here. 5 to the power of x minus 3. Close bracket. Okay. So we cannot strike out. So here we have ln of 5. Here we have ln of 5. So this, this will leave. Okay, and on this other side, this, this will leave. So we're left with this over this and ln of 3 over ln of 5. So let's continue on this other side of the bar. All right, 
So let's write out what we're left with here. So here we're left with your 3 all to the power of x minus 5, close bracket, all over your 5 all to the power of x minus 3, close in bracket, equal to the ln of 3 all over ln of 5. Good. So what we do here, let's take a look at this. What we have here now, we can equally rewrite this expression here and this expression here now. So if I decide to write this as your 3 to the power of x divided by 3 or to the power of 5 all over your 5 to the power of x divided by 5 to the power of 3 equal to your ln of 3 all over ln of 5. This has not really changed anything. What I did here is easy. Here, the bases are the same. So we can subtract the exponent. So if we rewrite this, we are going to come out with this. We rewrite this, we are going to come out with this. So this has not changed anything from the law of indices. Okay, now what to handle this aspect of the work here now? If I change this to multiplication, I change this to multiplication, the whole system will now become 3 to the power of x all over 5 to the power of x times your 5 to the power of 3 sorry this is 5 to the power of 3 okay all over 3 to the power of 5 equal to your ln of 3 all over the ln of 5. just take a good look at this okay now with this again we want these expressions to be on the left hand side alone so what we do here I will multiply both sides by 3 to the power of 5 and at the same time divide both sides by 5 to the power of 3. So if we do that, we are going to come up with your 3 to the power of x all over your 5 to the power of x equal to your 3 to the power of 5 ln of 3 all over your 5 to the power of 3 ln of 5. This is what we're going to come out with. Mind you, we're looking for x. According to the law of indices, again, look at this. This is to power of x. This is to power of x. And so we can factor out this x here. So we can rewrite whatever we have here as 3 all over 5 r to the power of x equal to your 3 to the power of 5, okay, ln of 3 all over 5 to the power of 3 ln of 5. This has not changed anything. If we distribute this exponent into whatever we have inside the bracket, we're going to come out with x. Alright, so let's proceed again on this side. So, again, so what we do here, we have to ln both sides of the equation again for us to get x here. So this will now give us here, we have here the ln of bracket 3 all over 5 all to the power of x equal to here we have the ln into a square bracket, okay, to a square bracket of your 3 to the power of 5, okay, to the power of 5, then ln of 3, close your square bracket, all over, okay, let's raise this way, let me write this way, okay, all over, here we have 5, to the power of 3 ln of 5. Okay, let's put this in the square bracket well. Good. Again, according to the law, let's move this exponent back here. So if we do that, we're going to have this to be our x ln of 3 all over 5 bracket equal to the ln of our square bracket, your 3 to the power of 5 ln of 3 all over 5 to the power of 3 ln of 5 or into our square bracket this has not really changed anything mind you we are looking for x so what do we do to get our x we divide through by your ln of 3 all over 5 so if we do that we're going to have our x is equal to the ln of the square of into 3 to the power of 5 sorry 3 to the power of 5 ln of 3 all over 5 to the power of 3 ln of 5 or into square bracket 
everything all over your ln of your 3 all over 5. Good. Now, from here, we can apply the law of logarithm again, which is the division law of logarithm to uh, this denominator. And so, this will now give us here, therefore, our x is equal to the ln of your square bracket, your 3 to the power of 5, ln of 3, okay, to the square bracket, all over your 5 to the power of 3, ln of 5, everything all over the ln of 3 minus the ln of 5. So this is the final answer. Again, if you impute this into your calculator, we're going to have our x to be equal to your minus, this minus 0 0.55379, blah, 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 blah. All right, so this is the numerical value for our x. Now, if you impute this into our exponential equation, we're going to get approximate value. So this might be the end of this challenge. If you learn something from this challenge, drop it in the comment section or you have a better way of solving this, drop it also in the comment section. You have a challenge or a problem going through this or you observe any error, drop it in the comment section. Remember, this is all I must TV. And my name is Jigs Animo. I love you so much because you are always there and we have pledged to give you nothing but the best because you've made us proud in the time past. Again, I love you. And every one of us at Online Mass TV love you so much. Bye for now.